Once you've run your year end and maybe you've cleared the audit trail and cleared your stock transactions, it's very common to then look at deleting your old records. So maybe you've got customers or suppliers that you no longer trade with, nominal records that you no longer use, maybe products that you're no longer going to be selling, and you want to delete those from your, your lists just to tidy up the system. Now, as long as the relevant records satisfy the relevant criteria to be deleted, and you'll find more information about that by searching our Help Center, then you can easily delete them. Let's have a look at how you do that in the software. We're going to take customers as an example, but the same uh, steps apply to both suppliers, nominal bank, etc. So we highlight the records that we want to get rid of, so let's just highlight those three as an example, and then at the top of the screen we click delete. You'll be prompted, are you sure you wish to delete the selected records? We click yes, and as long as they satisfy the criteria, they are then deleted. If you highlight an account and try to delete one that doesn't meet the criteria, so for example this customer has a, a balance on the account, so it can't be deleted, You'll still be prompted, are you sure you wish to delete the selected records? We click yes, and then we'll get an information box saying not all of the records that were selected were able to be deleted, and it will give us relevant reasons why for the areas that we're looking at. So again, you'll find more information about those within the Help Center. However, there are alternatives to deleting your records, or maybe you haven't cleared the audit trail, so you haven't cleared the activity, so that means you can't delete the records. So the alternatives are either using the filter option, probably the easiest alternative, maybe you don't want to delete the records, you just want to hide them. So you can use filter, or as it's formerly known, the search option, just to hide the records. So if we take these accounts as an example, these ones with a zero balance, we can easily hide those. Now we can base that filter on just about anything on the account, so we might have renamed the account to something like do not use. We've also got the inactive accounts feature, which is available in both uh, the customer module, suppliers, and also products as well, where we can flag certain records that meet criteria as being inactive, and we can show or hide those very easily. Let's have a look at a basic filter, though, just as an example. So if we just click the filter option, and we just need to complete the, the line. So we set the join to where. And in this case, in the field, we'll just test B to take us to the first field beginning with B, which just so happens to be balance, which is what we're going to use. Condition, we'll choose is not equal to, and then the value we'll leave set to zero. So what we're saying by applying this filter is only display the accounts that don't have a zero balance. So any account that has a, a positive or a negative balance will actually be listed. So we click apply, Click close, and we've now only got the, the accounts that have a balance against them. Now that's easy to switch on and off at any point. You've got this little filter button in the top corner. So if we click that, we're back to all of our records. So it's a nice, simple way of hiding records without actually deleting them. If we want to flag an account as being inactive, so remember that's available to customers, suppliers, and products, we can go into the record and we can tick the little checkbox for inactive. If we then save it, in the inactive column we've got a little Y and we can sh sort of filter those from the list very easily at any time just using this little checkbox in the top right hand corner. So when it's ticked the accounts that are flagged as being inactive are listed, when we remove it that account disappears from this. So it's a, again it's another way of managing your lists and making them easier to use, find what you're after without actually deleting your old records or maybe you're in a position where you can't delete it. So as we've covered there we've got two options deleting records as long as they meet the criteria or we can hide them either using the filter option or using the inactive feature.